the Circuit of the Americas, a massive, 20-turn road course, will make its debut on the Cup Series schedule this weekend, and while Coda will be a new track, it will feature a throwback schedule of events. Practice and traditional qualifying will be part of the weekend activities for the Echo Park Texas Grand Prix. While it will be nice to have some action on the track to look at when assembling NASCAR DFS lineups at Draft Kings and FanDuel, it would be nicer if the practice session wasn't expected to be run in rainy conditions. It would be even better if qualifying weren't being held the same day as the race. Given the condensed nature of the schedule, I decided to go ahead and reveal the drivers I have my eye on for DFS contests this weekend. Obviously, new options could emerge after the field is officially set, and drivers I have listed as GPP options could slide into the cash section and vice versa. I'll make all necessary updates following qualifying, but in the meantime, here is a closer look at the drivers I expect to utilize for the Echo Park Texas Grand Prix. Feel free to start experimenting with your lineup combos, and make sure to check back before the race for my final picks. Must own drivers Martin Truex Jr. $10,600 DK, $14,000 FD, nobody has been more consistent at the road courses the last couple of years, posting a series best 5.4 average finish in the nine races since 2018. His seven top tens in that span are tied for the series lead, and he ranks second in wins, top minus fives, and laps led. Chase Elliott, $10,500 DK, $14,500 FD Elliott has won five of the last eight road courses races, including four of the last five, and while he didn't win at the Daytona Roval in February, he did lead a race high 44 laps. He has now led at least 27 laps in each of the last five road course races. Cash plays Alex Bowman, $8,900 DK, $9,800 FD, he keeps on piling up solid finishes at the road courses, and since joining Hendrick Motorsports, he has never finished outside the top 15 in 9 attempts. Bowman has compiled a 9.7 average finish in those starts, notching 5 top 10s. AJ Allmendinger, $8,500 DK, $8,000 FD, Allmendinger does carry some risk since his only focus will be on winning, but he is an elite road racer and a top 5 threat who is available for a mid-range price. He made his first cup start since 2018 earlier this year, and it ended with a 7th place finish at the Daytona Roval. Christopher Bell, $8,300 DK, $9,500 FD, we don't have a big sample size for Bell, but in his first road course start for Joe Gibbs Racing, he went to victory lane at the Daytona Roval while posting the best green flag speed. After such an impressive showing, he seems like a no-brainer addition to cash lineups for a mid-range price. Kurt Busch, $8,100 DK, $9,000 FD, it has been a down year for Busch, but this is a steal of a price for one of the most dependable road racers in the series. His 9.